morning guys it is monday morning it's 7 3 in the morning i've been up for about i have been up i have been awake for like i don't know two hours maybe so cone dog is still wearing cone or i should say she's wearing the cone again um so I took it off yesterday and for about an hour and a half. So at first she did a few scratches with a paw like over her eye. And that's kind of expected. And then she um kind of she just was okay with it. She went to sleep and I figured oh, I'll go out and finish my own the lawn. That's good. So I did that and um I went in, back inside every now and again to check on her, and one of the time I came in, she was starting to scratch her eye again. So I gave her, you know, like little chew sticks that they can chew on to help clean their teeth, because she won't let me brush her teeth. She has killed so many toothbrushes, and I have scars on my hands because that putting hands in her mouth is not good. She's not mean about it. She doesn't growl or bite on purpose. She just feels something is in my mouth. I need to close it. And to get that mouth open, it's <laughs> it's a feat. Um, anyway, so I gave her that chew thingy. And uh, she looked okay with it. And I thought, oh, I go out and mow the lawn again. And I went out. And about 10 minutes later, I stopped to check on her. And she was scratching her eye. And she had started to bleed again. So, back on the cone went. And I mean, I had the door open like I do now. And she would just, she could have walked in and out or done anything. But it wasn't like I left her behind or something. I mean, she could come and go as she wanted. I have a kitty cat and I have a kitty cat. Oh, sorry. Where is he? There he is. What happened there? He's gone bonkers. Oh. Did a bug bite you? Oh my goodness, what happened to him? Bye. I'm not sure what's going on there. Did he get bitten by something? Nah, he's just crazy. What the heck? Okay. There's almost going on in the bathroom. I guess it's a good thing we dug up that stone. Now he has a new bathroom. Hi. You have your breakfast inside. You didn't eat your breakfast. No, you didn't. We gotta clean your eye. Well, at least now I can take the cone off when we go for walks. If I have it on the leash. It's actually pretty cold today. That's why I'm sitting here and not on my normal bench. Still have my breakfast here. Yes, chocolate for breakfast today. Um, pretty low. That's uh, I've been sad this weekend. It's not been a good weekend. It's been a rough week. And I'm pretty sore all over. You can see my hands are pretty swollen too. I don't know how much that is the cortisone and how much is I've been overdoing. I said yesterday I was going to take a nap. Right? I was going to take a chill yesterday. I was going to take a calm Sunday. That did not work out. <laughs> I was on my feet all day. And I didn't go to bed until midnight. And then again, woke up around 5. Yeah, I have a wand hanging there. Um, I tried a new varnish. A friend uh, sent like a little test sample to see how it worked. Didn't work. It is, it's been hanging there for three days now, I think. I think it was on Friday. That I put the varnish on Friday evening, and now I have Monday morning, and it's sticky. So I don't know, and it's been super hot, so it shouldn't be. So I found this. This was from 1994, and I used to like this. I was doing some. Um, after I was activity with kids and stuff back then in the 90s and uh, 
we did actually a lot of these things that was here. This is about environmental stuff. This is how to be more cautious about what you use. A little... Um, so it says, make the birds happy, put up a birdhouse. Uh, what else am I going to translate here? What is interesting? Look with a um, magnifying glass inside a mushroom and see if there's any tendons. Because there's always a lot of bugs and stuff. Even if they're not living in the mushroom, they usually come and hang out. <clears throat> look for different types of moss and lichens and tell me why you think they're different. Feel the moss and lichen, feel how they feel, smell how they smell. Um, <clears throat> why does flower have different colors and form? And this was pretty fun and we went out in nature and forest and talked about stuff. And um, Think about five words that make you think about a forest. Compare and discuss with your friends. Um, think about if you were an ant, what would you gather? There's an ant hill. Close your eyes and listen. Describe what you hear. After a while, compare with a friend how you think the different sounds sound like. That's for the forest. And um, walk along the beach. What do you find that's been flushed up by the water and what has come floating from somewhere else? <clears throat> I need some coffee. Here yeah, I'm really raspy, but that's because I have half the lawn in my nose and in my lungs. I blew my nose this morning and I found stuff there that doesn't have any business being in a nose. It was like grass and seeds and <laughs> it was it was windy and it's really dry. So um, the lawnmower has those blowy thingies and the gathering thingies in the back. Technical terms, complete technical terms, all of it. Um, blowy thingies and, and gathering thingies. Lawnmowers, yeah, they have those. Anyway, um, and since it was really windy and dry, everything was just blowing everywhere. I was covered in dirt. I had no idea if I was tanning or if I was just filthy. Um <laughs> So it was very satisfying to take a shower last night because um, when I scrubbed uh, the soap, the the lather, the first time I did it over, it was turning brown and you can just feel the dirt, dirt coming off and it felt so good. And then, you, you know, as you went on washing, it became white. It was so, I love that when you actually see the difference. Uh, but... <clears throat> I still have I still have all the crap stuck in my nose and I have tomato these are so good mm. um, uh, what I do these have these uh, have a hole in the bottom so I actually rinse everything out I take them out, clean this package rinse them out and just keep them in there so they are rinsed and ready to go I'll just open it up when I come home and clean them off so I can just eat. Mm. Go to a field or a brook or a ditch or anywhere and see if you can examine the same thing that you find in forest and compare your results. So you kind of learn what, what things grows in with different places and stuff like that. <clears throat> Never throw trash in nature. How does trash end up in nature? The hare has never tasted ice cream and mouse doesn't even know what a fudge is. Oh yeah, they do. But they don't buy it. Um, nature uh, foundation law. Uh, how should I try to translate that? Or less. Uh, without a trace, it disappeared. Make sure that it looks the same when you leave as when you got there. Um, don't trample plants, don't throw in any trash, and don't step on, on the snails, slugs. <clears throat> make your own broom out of birch rice. Um, this is actually kind of fun to make. I have one. I wonder where it is. <laughs> of course I do. I'm an old hag. Of course I have a broom like that. What am I saying? You know that. <laughs> 
Um, and there's also a lot of experiments you can do. Um, this one was kind of fun to do. Adopt a piece of nature near to you. Study plants and animals and take care of your little piece of the earth. So <clears throat> what we did, we went out to the place and everyone chose either a piece of the forest or a piece of the field or a piece of the piece of the beach beach more coffee more coffee and they went through and you know every time we had a um, class i don't know what to call it uh where meeting um they went to check on their little area and pick up any trash that was there and so if there's been any changes, what plants have come new, what has died off, all of that. Uh, <clears throat> and this one, create your own world. Do you think asphalt is boring? Uh, plant a garden, a pond, or take in some old tree from the forest. So I actually... <laughs> that, <laughs> does that count? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Adopt a tree and see what happens to it year round. So they did like little collages about their tree. Gathering leaves or needles or whatever the tree had uh, for it. A uh, little different now and again. This is really good. I, I just found this when I was looking for stuff to sell. And I was like. Oh, I forgot about this. So I figured I'm going to talk to my friend's daughter and see if we can do some of this stuff. See if she's interested. Maybe she and her friends are interested. I don't know. Uh, this is sort of garbage. So we have compost. We have paper. We have um, tin cans. Uh, recycled bottles. Glass. Metal. Um, pet bottles. Uh, it's... it's um, um, the one that you get money for when recycling batteries and plastic and how to sort everything and there's some stuff about fact about trash and this is a page about water um examining the store what kind of uh, cleaning fabric and stuff they sell um and, you know, it's more to make the, the stores take in more environmentally friendly cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Laundry detergent. And and actually, our local store, she still wants my breakfast. She has her own. Uh, <clears throat> our local store has actually started by only eco-friendly, mostly. The problem for me is that that stuff is a lot more expensive, so I can't, you know... Not having a lot of money, I kind of sometimes want the very cheapest option there is, but I don't have much choice. So, um, this is how to make a compost, what you can put in a compost, like fruit peelings, tea leaves, crumbs, uh, trash from your plants and pots, your, pa 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 your plants and pots. Um... Big outdoor compost or small indoor compost. Choose what's best for you. Your compost is like a pet. You get nice dirt. In your, in your dirt you can sow seeds. And then you plant. And that's like this whole cycle stuff. So you can you can make your own dirt. And then you plant like maybe potatoes. And then you put the potato peels back in the compost. So it's like. And worms. We have some facts about worms. If you have a bird bath, you get you attract birds to your garden. How to feed them? How to grow stuff? Um, how to make candy out of apples? You just dry the apple rings and pick uh, mushrooms. There's, there's a lot of stuff. And how to make your own paper. Make your own prints. With like potatoes and stuff. Um, how to make natural colors. This is this is really fun and interesting. And even me as an old hag. I kind of like this. But maybe I'm just easily amused. Mm. And 
this is where you where we're supposed to make uh, a, a theater about we never did this actually because summer went too fast um make a theater with trash and how to re you know you do costumes out of recycled materials and stuff and you make the sort of theater about nature and how to compost and how to you know but we never got to that part uh, there was too many things to do and we only met once a week um And just different type of suggestions for fun things to do. So yeah, this this was fun. I wonder if they still have it. 1994, I don't know. I liked this. So anyway, um... I need to do my school work today. I kind of been, um, it's just, there's just not enough hours in the day. And I'm about to do this week's to-do list. I usually do that on Sunday. I just, I was too busy and then I was too tired. So I managed to do some school work last night, but it wasn't any good. And I was really unfocused. So I'm going to finish my breakfast. I'm going to do my school work and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Uh, it's actually kind of cloudy and cold here today, but I'm okay with that because I burned myself yesterday. So I'm kind of okay with wearing a lot more clothes today. So hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm sorry I'm not really energetic, but um, I'm pretty beat. <laughs> I'm really tired. I uh, also need to call support in about, they open, I think, eight, so about an hour. Uh, to get my printer working because um, all of a sudden it started to print out like this and I tried all the different settings and rebooted and all stuff and it just keeps coming out like this and it went from clear prints like that to crap like this and when I tried to <laughs> The bad thing about this printer is that to get information about the printer, it gathers it and prints it out. And when it's not printed correctly, it refuses to print out the information about it. So I have no clue what to do. So um, I need to contact support again. I tried a few times and stuff they tell me to do, it doesn't work. So I don't know what's up with that. So. So maybe it's a good thing. I didn't get anything. I had 38 auctions that ended yesterday at Tradera. And uh, 38 auctions. Just take that in. Nothing sold. And a lot of it I started at the dollar. So it's not high prices. It's just this time of year no one buys anything. Pretty much. Everyone is either saving for vacation or it's June. So a lot of the bills that are coming quarterly is coming this month and um every some some bills are coming every six months and they are coming this month and it's just everyone's having an expensive month so am i and i don't have any income oh i'm scared i am so scared and oh all you guys who have contacted me and want to buy stuff thank you so much i will get back to you i need my printer to work first i need to be able to print out shipping labels and custom labels and stuff like that too um i will get back to you with cost of shipping i haven't forgotten about you i'm on it i just need to fix one thing at a time um i will get back to you guys pretty soon and i hope i managed to tell everyone that um however shipping is still quite expensive and it bugs me because i see a lot of countries have cheap shipping and that will make such a difference now on my on my etsy i have currently 100 100 swedish crowns as shipping internationally now the shipping cost the actual shipping cost for me is higher than that but i just i i might I'm taking that money out of my own pocket if you buy something. 
Um, so the shipping is actually more expensive than that, but but uh, I'm okay with that. Um, the same packaging material and the shipping, the extra shipping is coming out of the cost for the money I get for, for the item myself. I don't know if I make any sense at all. Uh, I'm really, really tired and I have no idea how I'm going to manage to do schoolwork. But maybe I will be okay once I finish my coffee and my breakfast. I have my water bottle here too. So That's it. 20 minutes. Oh my, how did it turn this long? I, I was just going to tell you that Cone Dog still has, his, has her cone and... Uh, I have half the lawn up my nose. That was pretty much it. And I wanted to show you this. This little brochure. This little thingy here. And that was it. That should have taken like 5 minutes. I managed to blab now 21 minutes. So I'm going to stop blabbing. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hope you have an amazing week. This Monday morning. So let's get this week started. Have a nice day.